this video explains the additional information we need to include when we are reporting for our academic journal. In the last uh, videos, we look into different ways of reporting the results directly to stay uh, wait. For example, we use a red tool. Today, I show additional information that need to be included for a journal format. So, if we run the regressions starting with the OLS, and then we include our panel regressions that we have run before. And we see the result in red. So I run again what we have run before. And then we see the result directly reported to the, di the directory where we have specified. So I have run this and you will see that it's recorded. So if I click on this one, it will open the result. Okay, this is how the result looks like starting from OLS. We did different regression techniques, random effects, fixed effects, Hausman and Taylor, and, and, and GMM. This is what we see. So if we are to report this, this is the information that the command will give us. But we need some additional information and this is what this video explains. What additional information should we report in panel data analysis? So for random effect, from random effect all the way to GMM, what additional information should we include? So I have prepared this. So if we run this, we need to probably add some additional information. What are those information? We have uh, we have to report the uh, the overall model fitness. So we use the F test for uh, OLS regression and also for fixed effects regression. So here I report the p value. So you see is uh, significant at uh, one percent level. So we also show. For the panels, we show number of instruments. This is valid for only GMM. So we show the number of instruments, and you also show the auto CR correlation first at first difference, which in most cases will be significant, and that shows that panel data techniques is really re relevant. And you also show the second order serial correlation, the p-value. Here we have it to be 0 0.015, which is less than 0 0.05. Here we have a problem, but that's not what this video uh, is about. We showed how to increase the number of locks in order to have this one lock significant. Then after we have reported that, we need to report the Hansen test or the Sagan Hansen test regarding the Hosman and Taylor. So for Hosman and Taylor, we need to report the Hansen Sagan Hansen test. So here we have it. And for GMM we also reported. This also needs to be insignificant. But again, this is not to explain how to make it insignificant. You may want to Go back to the previous videos and you'll see how to make these values significant. Then, if you are running a series of uh, dependent variables, a series of models, assuming here we have a different model, which is a panel data model, another panel data model with different dependent variables or different models, I want to test which of them Hausman test you help you to test whether random effects or fixed effects is appropriate. So in that case, we need to also report the Hausman test. So Hausman test for all these and to show that indeed what you have reported you have followed the right method. So and uh, you also need to explain below the table what these information mean. For example, auto 
it's here correlating at level one you have to show an s plane okay thanks for watching this is uh all that we could explain so if we are able to explain these additional information then it should be sufficient for a journal format article one thing I uh, nearly forget is uh, the R square for overall random effects model. We should report that <coughs> and that we get it from the result. So you have to manually collect this information from the re regression. So this is within effects. This is over, you, you pick the overall R square for random effect the array 2 is designed for things that report uh, f test so f test like OLS you find f test and then they also report the r square in this other regression involving random effect the r square is not reported so you have to report it manually so here we have the dynamic panel, here we don't have uh, R square, but in the um, random effect model, you have to report it manually. So that is why I have uh, reported that manually. So here we don't have R square, we don't have R square here, but here we do have, we have to report it. Okay, thanks for watching.